Hey, I bet that's itchy. Guess all those butt flies make you thirsty. That is so unappetizing on so many different levels. There's one nasty looking rat. The rat's got bot flies. Of course I haven't seen any squirrels with bot flies for quite a few years. I think rats generally lead a more unhealthy lifestyle. Cat bird. The buntings are out. This is at the fence between the backyard and the conservation area, so. You don't want to get these rats around the house, that's why I keep the food away from the house. A little rat though. And he's got three big bark flies on him. Thank goodness. Huh. A little drink of water for the little guy. Guess all those butt flies make you thirsty. Trying to film the rat in the bunting, I got a squirrel crawling on my knee. That's got to be the longest drink of water I've ever seen anybody take. I've got no problem with rats in the wild, but try the line that rats around the house. Now oh, where's he gonna go? Put the um the cage feeder and the fence in the daytime so that the bunnings can get it and I put it away at night but rats are adaptable if nothing else so he's you can see this one is not rat proof 
Whereas the other one with the weighted, without the cage and the weighted perches is rat proof. Of course I have this hanging in an area that's accessible to the rat during the daytime. So I need to put it back on a post with the squirrel baffle. But the other one over here, which is also accessible to the rodents, is rodent free. Of course, I need to refill that because the bunting's nailed that. Alright. Even though this one has a cage on it for the little birds, small rodents and still get after it, so it needs to be on a pole with a baffle from below. The baffle and above is marginally effective. But then that's not where you're really, still, it has to be put on a post with a baffle. Alright, so we gotta get rid of the uh, Yeah, I bet that's itchy. I haven't seen a squirrel with a bot fly in about three years now. That is so unappetizing on so many different levels. He basically reaches in there with his little hands and pulls out the seed and eats it. Lovely. I'm glad I happened to notice this, so now I gotta just keep it over in its place with the baffle. Meanwhile, what do you want? Looks like the bot flies have been hitting the rats unless they're not bothering you guys, that's good. I'm not gonna let this guy eat much longer, but he's sure living the life of Riley right now. He's sitting on his butt. Eating the bunting food, which is a no-no. I'm talking about you, dude. Your days of eating the bunting food are over.
You can see one of the bundings over here waiting for this. Oh, you're right. So that's the big advantage of this feeder over here, and I've been giving them both a torture test. This one, even when you hang it in an an accessible position, the rats can't can't sit on it. And those weighted perches will just shut the door.